Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Call of Duty World War 2, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but Days of Summer has returned. I don't think anybody anticipated this happening today, but they have decided to bring back Days of Summer, not only for Call of Duty World War 2, but they also brought it back for Modern Warfare Remastered, Infinite Warfare, as was Black Ops 3. So, it's a really cool time to be a Call of Duty fan, but this video is going to be focusing on all of the new content that is available here in Call of Duty World War 2. So, hopefully you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy, and let's kick things off here today by taking a look at the three new weapons that were added with this event. The first one we have here is the Ribby Rolly submachine gun, which costs you 26,050 armory credits. The second one is the Automaton assault rifle, which costs you 27,825 credits. And the third one is the three line, I hate that name, Mosnagon snipe rifle, which costs you 23,550 credits. My recommendation, as always, is to prioritize completing the collections of the weapons that are exclusive to this event. So, in this case, the Ruby Rolly Submachine Gun and the Automaton Assault Rifle, those collections will be going away from the Quartermaster when the Days of Summer event ends on August 28th. So be sure to prioritize getting those collections completed before the Mos Nagant, because the Mos Nagant is part of Operation Overlord, therefore its collection can be completed at any time. But so far, my first impressions of these weapons are actually pretty positive. I really, really like the Mos Nagant. I've wanted this gun ever since this game was first revealed back in 2017, so I'm very happy it's finally here, actually own one of these in real life even, so I'm a big fan of the Mos Legant. it has a very satisfying feel, it hits like a truck, I hate the default reticle, but I do love the fact that it reloads incredibly quickly, very awesome sniper rifle. The Ruby Rolly is a mid-tier submachine gun so far based on my very limited experience, like I don't love it or hate it so far, it has a cool look to it, but so far I need to use it more because I just, I don't have a very, very good feel for it as of right now, and the Automaton Assault Rifle feels a lot like the AVS to me, like if I were to compare it to another gun that's already in the game, I would say it feels a lot like the ABS, and so far, it seems to be a pretty average assault rifle, but again, those are my very, very early first impressions. Like, I don't even have 100 kills with each one of these weapons so far. The event just went live. I recorded all the footage I could very quickly. I made sure I got all my notes shot down, and so here I am now recording the video. So, those are my early first impressions. I'd love to hear what you guys think about these weapons down there in the comment section below, but no doubt you guys have taken notice of the fact that my camo is animated and looks like Chrome Tiger, even though it's not actually Chrome Tiger. So allow me to use that to transition to my next topic, which is going to be Master Prestige Rewards. They finally hit the game today, and the camo you guys are looking at is actually the camo you get for hitting Master Prestige level 200. So really quickly, this is how Master Prestige Rewards work. You get 10 total uniforms, one basically every 100 levels, and you get six different camos at different points in your Master Prestige. So the first one is unlocked at Master Prestige level 56, the second one is at Master Prestige level 200. The third one is at Master Prestige 400. The fourth one's at 600. The fifth one is at 800. And the final one is at Master Prestige level 1000. I am currently in the mid 300s in my Master Prestige. Therefore, I only have access to two of the camos and three of the uniforms. But I'm showing you guys what they look like here on your screen right now. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy with how the camos have turned out. The first one, really not so much. Like that camo kind of just looks like desert from like Call of Duty 4. It's just not very good good in my opinion, but the second one is fantastic, and the Master Prestige uniforms themselves also look pretty good, though unfortunately, that's pretty much all we get in terms of Master Prestige rewards. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm happy we got something, but at the same time, I'm really disappointed that Sledgehammer did not address the concerns regarding supply drops, and really quickly, for those that don't know, when you level up normally here in Call of Duty World War 2, you get a free supply drop every five levels. For some reason, that stops after you hit Master Prestige, so a lot of us assumed that with this this update, they were going to make it so we get supply drops every five levels again, and they would also go in and retroactively give us all these supply drops that we've missed out on ever since we hit Master Prestige, but apparently that was not in the cards. Apparently, Sledgehammer Games is content to give us 10 uniforms and 6 weapon camos, so to be clear, I like the camos. I actually even like the uniforms, even though technically they're just the same uniform over and over, with different colors and different bells and whistles now and again, but by and large, I'm happy with the Master Prestige rewards, though I can't help but feel like they could have done more. Like, I think we built this up so much because we had to wait eight months to actually get these things and a lot of us were talking about heroic weapon tokens or discounts at the quartermaster or opening up old collections permanently we had so many great ideas but turns out this is what we get for master prestige rewards and i'd love to hear what you guys think about them down there in the comment section below but moving away from that for a moment we have a bunch of new game modes that were added with the days of summer event the first one and this is so insane to me is dogfight right and obviously dogfight was part of that one war map but now it's an official game mode that you 
you can play. It's basically Team Deathmatch, but in planes. And as somebody who's been playing the Call of Duty series for well over a decade at this point, if you were to go back and talk to like 16-year-old Nero and tell him that in the future, Call of Duty was going to have a dogfight game mode where everybody has their own plane, and that's all you do is you shoot down other planes, I don't think he would have believed you. But here we are in 2018, a dogfight game mode is here in the Call of Duty franchise, which is absolutely absurd. We also have the Leprechaun Mosh Pit, which is making its first return since Operation Shamrock Not. It's a fun game mode where basically it's a mosh pit and occasionally a leprechaun will spawn in. He'll run around the map laughing and if you shoot and kill the leprechaun, you instantly get all of your streaks. Now, as you guys can see, I completely forgot to change my streaks. I go into Leprechaun Mosh Pit with a fighter pilot and a glide bomb, which is absurd, right? Everyone else is calling in paratroopers and ball turret gunners and everything else. And I'm sitting here with my glide bomb and my fighter pilot, but regardless, Leprechaun Mosh Pit is back and we also have a brand new map. Now, I've actually been waiting to talk about this because I'm really, really disappointed in Activision. But then again, I've come to expect this kind of stuff from Activision. So as you guys can see, I'm showing you trailer footage of the new map instead of actual gameplay, right? And the reason why I'm showing you guys trailer footage is because I don't have my own gameplay because my console does not have this map. The exclusivity deal that Sony has with Activision for Call of Duty World War II is in effect for this map, which means Xbox and PC fans will not be able to play on the new sandbox map until 30 days after the event starts, which means after the event is actually over. Like, the event is going to be long gone by the time Xbox and PC fans can actually play on this new sandbox map, which is really unfortunate, but that's the way of things. That's the way of the exclusivity deal that Activision has with Sony. It's really unfortunate, but still, it looks like it's going to be a pretty fun map once everybody can actually have access to it. And one final thing before I end off the video here today, we not only have a brand new event, but we also have a brand new community challenge. Though, as you guys know, we came very close to failing the previous challenge, though this time around, I think things are going to be a little bit easier. So, the challenge itself is to collectively get 800 million kills, and all of those kills are going to be divided among the five base divisions that came with the game. So, the Tier 1 challenge is for us to get 160 million kills with the Infantry Division, and then we will get a brand new calling card. After that, I assume Airborne is going to be next, and once we get 160 million kills with the Airborne Division, we'll get the Weapon Charm, then just keep on going down the line with the different base divisions that came with the game, right? We're going to eventually get this animated beachside camo, which we saw in the trailer, which looks fantastic. We're going to get a new hat, as well as a special variant of the sawed-off shotgun. Once again, the event itself ends on August 28th, so we have until then to collectively get 800 million kills. I hope this challenge goes better than the last one, but regardless, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys here today. Days of Summer actually came back. I'm still just mind-blown. Like, they kept talking about how they had a big announcement to give us, but I assumed that the announcement was just going to be the Master Prestige rewards and maybe a couple of bug fixes. I don't think anybody anticipated Days of Summer coming back for the final month of summer, but regardless, it's here, and I could not be happier. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section below, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.